I'd like to show you a couple of methods for applying an I chord to a project. Um, in this case, it's an I chord tie that is going to be attached to this bonnet um, right here at the right chin part and then attached as an I chord along here, along the back, and along the left side of the chin. Um, so what your instructions will have you do is make an I chord of, in this case, four stitches. And then once your I chord is of the correct length, you will transfer your four I chord stitches onto your working needle. Um, in this case, there were live stitches in the back of the bonnet and then I picked up stitches along either chin side of this edge. So that's a whole separate piece now. There, there is no working yarn attached to the bonnet piece. The working yarn is attached to the I cord. All right, so a little bit later I'll talk about applying I cord to um, the edge of a project that doesn't have live stitches, but we'll do this one first. All right. So what you do is you transfer the four stitches or however many stitches your I cord is to your left needle, which is what you're attaching your I cord to. And then you find the working yarn from your I cord and you knit the first three stitches as usual. And then the fourth stitch of your I cord, you slip, then you knit the first stitch that's attached to your project. You knit that one and then you pass that slip stitch over and that attaches it, attaches your I cord to your project. Then, in order to continue, you move your I cord stitches back onto your left hand needle, slip them back on, and then knit three, slip the last stitch of your I cord, knit the next stitch on your project, pass the slip stitch over. Leaves you with four stitches again, which you transfer back to your left hand needle. And that is the process which you repeat until you have run out of stitches on your piece. So work until there's one stitch left of your I cord, slip that last stitch, knit the next stitch, pass the slip stitch over, transfer your stitches back to your left hand needle. I'm going to continue this for a few more rows of I cord and then I will show you the back of the I cord edge so that you can see how it looks. So I'll meet you back here in just a second. I'm going to pause this. Alright, so I'm going to do just two more rows before I show you the other side. Transfer 
transfer these back. All right. So then, this is the tie, and then this is the I cord that I've made since beginning to attach it to the bonnet. And so you can see here at the edge, here's the face edge, and then this was the chin edge where I had live stitches. And I've just worked those last stitches and first stitches together to connect the whole I cord and build an I cord at the same time as I'm joining these. So I'll do that all the way around here till I get to the other side. And then um, I'll continue with my just my I cord down this way to make the other end of the tie. Alright, now so I'm going to show you how now to attach an I-cord onto a piece of fabric that doesn't have live stitches here. It's just this uh, edge of knitting. So you can apply it either to live stitches, as in the bonnet example, or in this case it's just a completed edge of knitting. So what you do is, same as before, you work across the first three stitches of your I-cord, or however many stitches you have, just leave one on your needle there and slip that one. Then what you do is you want to attach it to this piece, and I'm going to attach it to this edge here. So what I do is it's a pick up and knit along this edge, so I slide my needle in. I take the working yarn from my I cord, wrap it around my stitch, knit through the edge, and then the other needle I'm going to pass the slip stitch over there. So I'm back down to four stitches and I've attached it to this extra piece or this uh, edge stitch. In this case, because I have double pointed needles here, I can just slide this down instead of transferring my stitches. And then take the working yarn, knit three to build a row of I cord, slip the last one, and then pick up and knit a stitch along the edge that I'm attaching to, and then slip or pass the slip stitch over like this. And then you're going to slide your stitches down and repeat. So I'm going to work three, slip one, pick up and knit one stitch along this edge. I'm going to pass the slip stitch over. Repeat. Slip. Pick up a knit. Pass the slip stitch over. And Pass the stitch over. So I'll show you here the I cord and how the I cord is attached now to this edge of the knitting. So an applied I cord is a really nice way to finish the edge on a piece, uh, for instance, a neckline or an armhole, even the bottom hem of a piece. Um, of course, the bottom edge of those bonnets that, that I was demonstrating at the beginning. 
Um, and even it's a really nice finish on the perimeter of a shawl because it gives a nice rounded edge and um, if you have, you know, a garter stitch edge that doesn't look the tidiest, this kind of rolls right over that edge and gives it a really nice finish. So give it a try. Thank you for watching.